What the? That's not a whoop. That's not a micro. It's not even a mini. It's not a 210. It's not a 220. It's not a 230. Hold on a minute. This is the mother of all drones. <laughs> Don't ask me where the father is. It doesn't matter. This thing can hold its own. Stay tuned for the following review. Hi everyone, this is Rich at RC. I'm Rick. Thanks for joining me once again and welcome to another review. Take a look at this. The mother of all drones. Isn't she a beauty? Stay tuned. I've got the full review coming up right now. Okay guys, this is the Assassin V383 Gallop, as they call it, from WL Toys. Now it's unlike any other drone or quad you've ever seen. I'm sure you'll agree with me when I say I actually think it looks like a little off-road buggy with the way the body looks, but it's got blades instead of wheels. But anyway, let's move on. So this thing has one powerful brushless motor, not four unlike any other quad you've come across. The blades fold in, as you can see. They look like tail rotor blades. I'll just open them all up so you can have a look. So they each open up like so. They each open up like so. And they actually look like tail rotors from a helicopter. Now there's a reason why they look like tail rotors from a helicopter, and that's because this drone operates on variable pitch propellers. You don't have four motors controlling the up, down, left, right. Right? Each of these blades varies in pitch like a tail rotor on a helicopter. And I'll just give you a quick demonstration by moving the servo. As you can see. Okay? So this flies like a heli, except it's a drone. See? It will also do 3D flight. It will fly upside down. And it's just amazing to see this thing in the air. So now I'm going to show you what happens when I turn one of the rotors. Have a look at this. Notice how all four rotors turn. Now this is because the motor, which sits in the back, I'll take off the cover in a moment, is actually connected with a pulley driving a main shaft right through the center of the body and there's another gearing mechanism at the front and we've got a set of drive belts at the front here and a set of drive belts at the back here and everything is interconnected with this drive shaft just like on a remote control buggy and with the drive belts on the end so as you can see by turning one of these rotors you end up turning all of these rotors so now, what I'll do is I'll lift the canopy off, and let's see what's under the hood. By the way, the canopy's held down with rubber grommets. There's one here at the front, and there's one here on the side, and there's one here on the other side. Pretty much like snapping on and pulling off the canopy off a helicopter. So I've taken off the front one for now. This is what you can do without taking off the whole canopy. Like you, you actually lift it, like you're lifting the hood on a car. So you can do that. And you can get in there and you can fiddle around with the battery. You can connect the battery and so on. You put it back down and it's ready for flight, like so. So now I'll take off the entire canopy and let's see what's under there. Okay, so I've taken off the grommets. I've slid the side pieces off. And I'm going to lift off the whole canopy now. This is how it's done. So just before we look at the internals, just have a look at this canopy for one moment. Okay, it's, it's pretty nice, I have to say. Beautifully painted. Have a look at that detail. Look, it's a rich red in colour. You can see this in the air without any trouble whatsoever. Have a look at that. Very nicely done, if I do say so myself. Uh, it's pretty flexible. It's not bad. I think it would withstand a bit of a knock without too much trouble. It's not going to crack very easily. I like it. It's a nice canopy. 
let's put that aside now let's check out the internals okay so this is what's under the bonnet this section here that's the ESC this is the flight board and this is where you put the battery now you'll notice that there are four servos there's one here one here one here and one here these are all metal gear servos by the way used for adjusting the pitch on each of these rotors just like the tail rotor on a helicopter this is the motor that I was telling you about one motor now I'm going to turn this around so I hope you can see this okay so I'm going to bring this as close as possible to the camera so you can get a, an idea of what I'm talking about there we go so this is the motor here one motor connected with a pinion gear here which has a drive belt over here driving this big spur gear like pulley pinion spur gear just trying to make sure it looks good for you so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about there we go okay that's the big spur gear if you like with the belt going around it the lighting is not too good apologize for that so I hope you can see that okay. I'm just going to turn the rotors so you can see how this moves. So the motor spins, it turns the drive belt, it turns this big Spurgier cog here, and there's a shaft that travels all along the underside here, right through to the end, on the inside. I can just break this back down. Okay, so there's a, I'll just put this down so I can show you a bit more clearly so there's a uh, a pole in here that goes right across the length of the drone and then on the other side you have some more gearing which i think it might be a little bit hard to show the lighting isn't the best i do apologize but if i can turn this maybe you can see that collar spinning that's the where the other drive belts are connected there's a drive belt that goes along to the right hand side here which drives this rotor and there's another one on this side which drives that rotor and that's how this drone flies it's quite ingenious really but i have to say it's a copy it's not an original design um, Hobby King even have their version of one. Um, but this is quite unique in the way it does fly compared to any other quad or drone that you've ever taken the controls of. Now the battery sits about here. I'll just show you how you strap this in. Undo the Veltro like you do with any other model you're preparing you strap the battery in like so okay that's the battery there you connect the battery like so you can put your battery monitor here at the end of the JST and you're pretty much ready to go now I've just put the canopy back on what I'm going to do now is show you the the radio transmitter that it comes with this is also quite ingenious I have to say now this is the this is the transmitter that you get with this model. Okay, here's the uh, the power button. You can see full display of whatever you need to see. It's got the usual digital trims. I'll just switch that off for a moment. Now the interesting thing about this transmitter is this. Now I happen to be a mode one flyer, so I've got this set to mode one. Now if you're a mode two flyer or you want to experiment between mode 1 and mode 2 the best thing about this radio is you don't have to open her up and take her apart and do anything I'm about to show you how to switch this between mode 1 and mode 2 with a simple lever here we go you see this one here you simply move that up the right hand side suddenly went to neutral now 
the right hand side has the spring load the left hand side is now suddenly the ratchet this is now mode 2 for all those people who prefer to go mode 2 I've just converted it to mode 2 in a split second right throttle rudder pitch aileron that's mode 2 bang I've just switched it back to mode 1 the spring load is back on this stick on the left and look what I have here I've got the ratchet with the throttle on the right again which suits me because I'm a mode 1 flyer so throttle on the right for me with aileron followed by pitch followed by rudder or yaw on the left it's that simple guys I don't think you can find a more simple radio that will do the mode 1 mode 2 switch for you I'm quite impressed with this I've flown it I've got some footage to follow I hope you like what you're about to see please leave any comments I'm happy to respond please leave any thumbs up if you uh, like the video and by all means subscribe I've got plenty more to come it's been nice talking to you again I've been really excited about this model I've really enjoyed the review I really enjoy the way this thing flies I'll talk to you next time and uh, thanks for watching we're going to switch to the flying field where you'll see this flying in a moment okay so now we're going to switch to the flying field where I've got a demonstration of how this baby flies the one thing I did notice is I'm going to get some batteries which are more powerful or more longer lasting than the 2200 milliamp I don't think I get enough endurance out of them so I'm going to try for something higher but for now I'm flying with 2200 milliamp for cell lipos and uh, we'll switch over to the flying field right now in a matter of one two three and <laughs>